kwenye episode hii tutaona namna ya ku add two pages ya kwanza ni application ya pili ni login hizi ni pages za html okay kwenye episode iliyotangulia tuliona namna ya ku download free open source bootstrap website template na ku upload kwenye Django project okay kisha tukaona namna ya kufanya customization ya website template so kwenye episode hii tuone namna ku add two pages ya kwanza ni application na login na kuzifanyia url redirection okay okay so na utoje katika project yetu fungua visual studio code to navigate pande wa kushoto tutaoja katika ile template au tengeneza of course template tuisha ifanya registration uta just right click kwenye template uchagua new file okay so file hii ita application application ni file name tandika dot then tandika file extension html then uta click enter to execute again kwenye template right click new file okay so file ita login okay so dot parisa then tandika file extension htm Error. Okay, so now click enter to execute. Okay, now so <coughs> nimesha tengeneza mafile mawili ya application na login ya HTML. Okay, so now tuna fasta nikuja kutengeneza function kwenye view.py itakao return application.html na login.html, right? Okay, so ngoja katika views.html. Okay, now so hii ilikuwa ni page ya home page for example hapa anaandika just a comment okay so my comment or uh, for example comment in home home page right okay so function in offer sasa hivi ni function ya ku return application.html okay so now just andika comment okay so now application okay so hapa nitaandika just a python function okay so nitaandika hiyo uh, keyword network def then andika function name application okay and then naika bracket na naenda pisha parameter parameter inaitwa request okay atende ka current na hiyo kisha naingia ndani ya hiyo function kisha naandika keyword inaitwa return okay so return kwa sababu hii ni built in function ina return render kwa ajili ya kurenda zile html page then naweka hizo bracket okay so napitisha argument ya kwanza argument ya kwanza ni request na ikakoma so argument ya pili ni page ya application.html as well of course ni hapa so nitaandika application okay dot file extension html okay so naandika function ya return login.html so copy the same code okay so naweza ku duplicate hapa chini okay so naweza kuandika comment so hii ni login okay so def of course the function name will be login okay again the picture a one parameter and a request then a return render a request then login.html okay so now we get url.py here okay so hapa na just ku add a path okay so hapa na ka comma na ku duplicate na paste so path hii itakuwa ni just application so na ndika application Okay so here in the view views dot function name natumia view ku access object into application then I click enter right then name itakuwa ni application Okay so na the same procedure ngoja ku copy na ngoja ku paste hapa chini Okay so now path itakuwa ni login Okay so now views views dot function name function name object in a login Okay no so now mtakuwa ni name name na login. Okay after then uh control s shortcut na ya ku save changes then nakuja katika base.html. Kwenye base.html okay so na access zile link. Okay so na zile link zipo somewhere ambayo ni hizi. Okay so now kwenye home it a return home page. So ndio ku delete uh, url ya URL ambayo ilikuwa kwenye home okay so naika just like brackets za namna hiyo okay so hapa naandika URL na just space naika hizo uh, bracket mbili so URL ya kwanza itakuwa ni home right so nakuja katika URL.py uh, dot for example ni hii 
Okay. So hii nono hii access inaitwa home. Lakini path hii itakuwa ni just your home page. Okay. So noja katika uh, base.html, right? So hapa naandika hiyo home. Okay. So now copy the same code. Okay. So noja kuya apply hapa uh, hii application. So application now it has some what? Name and ambao ni application. Lakini path itakuwa ni just application, right? So noja katika base.html na noja kuyondwa hii home na andika what? Application. Ile name, right? So noja hapa katika hii hapa ya tatu lombo ni login ya zoro. So noja katika hii ala errors. So noja kuli copy name. Okay? Okay. So noja katika base.html na noja kuli paste your login. Okay. So remember hii ni case sensitive. Okay. Na save changes. Okay? Na save changes na noja katika uh, save a current in a run. Okay, so now we current in a run katika local host as well. Uh, okay, angalia kwenye episode yu yotoka ili tulona na kulang save kwenye different API addresses. Current in a run. Okay. Okay, so now utakajia katika website. Okay, so kwenye website yapa nita just ku browse. Okay, nita uja kukiliki application. So itafungua page ya application. Of course in a load. Uh, lakini itafungua page ya application. So nki click login. Okay, so itafungua page ya login. Now, naoja katika page ya application. Ambao ni hii. So, kwenye page ya application, nita kwa ni load static, then ni extend, base. Okay, so ni yake na zile block content. Naoja katika home. Okay, so naoja kukopi zi kodi. Kwenye home.html. So, copy. Okay, naoja kwenye application. Naoja kui paste. Okay. So ngoja katika login na ngoja kui paste. Okay, so kwenye application na just kuandika okay, so just ni heading one. Okay, so naandika application. Okay. Application, right? So just copy it. Kuja kwenye login. Paste. Then hii na ngoja kuandika na ipa jina la login. Okay, so save changes. Njoo kwenye web browser. Okay, so uh, current server in a run. Okay, so now let's twist to pishe. Okay, so that's kuja kui run tena server. Okay, so now server na run. So ndakuja katika web address. Okay, so ndakuja kui, yes, kui run server again. Okay, so now na click application. So currently ni page application as well. So kuja kui angali hapa. Ni application. Okay. Okay, angali path imenda kwenye application. Okay, nyingine kubonyeza login. Okay, so kujia kuangalia path hapa ni login. Lakini content zina remain the same why? Zina remain the same. Okay, so kujia katika base.html. Of course base ni hii hapa. Okay, so kwenye base.html kuna baadhi ya vitu tunavitoa. Okay. Kwenye base.html kuna baadhi ya vitu tunavitoa. So block content ni hii. So just copy block content. Cut. Okay. Kwenye base.html, njoo ya katika div main. So, where is div main? Okay, main. Okay, main ndo hii. So, kujia katika div main. Div main mianzi yako, okay? So, na ipeste yapa. Alright, so, nizini section. Uh, uh, section. Yeah, about, of course, section yeah, about. Na ondua section yeah, about. Uh, sorry. Yeah, just the blog content ni, ni tuwe kwanza. Ni ya chapa. Okay. So nakuja hapa juu hapa Okay so nakuja kuyondoa a uh, hero section hero section of course ni hero section okay so na about section okay so hizi na just kuja kuzikat Okay so hapo ni mizikat Okay so after oh, just hii ni her main Okay hapo ni mizikat Okay after kuzikat na kuja hapa kwenye uh, home okay na kuja kuzipaste mu ndani ya block content okay now save changes try to run kuja back uh, back kwenye home okay hii ni home so home of course uh, okay so na kwenye home just home ni okay so kwenye home 
block content and blocks okay so uh, kwenye base.html so hapa kuna div class main pause hapa kuna div class main so hapa nitatengeneza div if pause nilifuta kwa bahati mbaya of course class iko to main hiyo ni div class iko to main of course okay sorry pause ni main uh, main okay main then main hapa imekuwa closed okay so kwenye main hapa ndo naweka zile uh, kodi za block kwenye base okay so unakuja hapa na kuzi paste kwenye main okay so now save changes okay so unaweka katika browser kuja ku execute right so inaonekana okay so now is good nikija kwenye application okay now is the application nikija kwenye login okay in login so hapa tunaweka kodi za login okay no application application home so kija kuangalia kwenye home ndo kuna ile uh, slide in image on your home na ina is hapa katikati ndo kwenye content as well so kwenye application naona so hapa tutaweka ile form ya html kwenye login hapa tutakuwa ni login okay okay so now uh kuja katika application as well here hapa so kwenye application now cut uh the application cut okay so andika div class okay so now div class equal to container i just chagua container okay so after container ndani oh just unajua kuweka hiyo application right so just copy the same code okay so unajua katika login uh, the same procedure so login right okay so unakuja kwenye browser of course just delete na kwa hivyo okay now so unakuja katika browser run project Okay login imekaa hapa. Okay so unakuja katika application. Okay so this is application na content itakaa hapa. Nikija kwenye home. This is home, right? Okay so unakuja kwenye episode ina fast unakuja kuna namna ya kuwek na model. Okay, namna ya kutengeneza model kwa ajili ya kucheza na upande wa back end upande wa database. 